going to be rather blunt, I'm not a great fan of landscape photography in the summer. I find the light can be quite harsh, everything's just a bit too green, and really I just prefer working in softer light, which you generally will get in spring, winter and autumn. So for me, summer is particularly tricky. But that's not to say it's a bad month for landscape photography, it just means you have to work a little bit harder. So today, this video is going to be a bit of a challenge for me, but I'm just going to have to work harder on my compositions, and let's find out if it really is the worst for landscape photography. As you will have just seen, I've just taken a handful of shots here. Nothing very exciting really, you know, it's only four o'clock, so there's probably, what, but nearly six hours of sunlight left. And maybe that's the beauty of summer, that you can actually come out later and have a lot longer to actually explore your locations, find your compositions, and then set up for when the light is finally nice. Anyway, as I say, not the most brilliant shots, but it's sometimes just good to get some shots in the bag, just to start thinking a bit about compositions. And on that note, let's head off to the next location. Now I couldn't come to Hayden's War Country and not photograph the Robin Hood tree, Sycamore Gap. You know, it has to be the shot that every tourist takes when they come. And here's a good tip for you if you're thinking of making money from stock photography. It's always a good idea to photograph those must-visit locations in perfect summer conditions. And by perfect, I don't mean photographically perfect. I mean there's perfect conditions you would want if you were on holiday. Now, on my last trip here, which I did a video, I'll put the video up now, I took this moody shot. Now I guarantee, out of the two, it's the one from today that will sell a lot better as a stock photography image. So just keep that in mind if you do plan to make money from your stock images, because those moody landscapes won't necessarily be the best sellers. Anyway, please enough shot, took a couple, I took a black and white one as well, really just to get a bit more creative and just to tick my boxes to take a shot that I enjoy, and let's head on to the next location. Okay, I've come to a new location, a couple of miles along the wall. I've just taken a shot, put it up now. It's, it's all right, nothing very exciting. And I'm going to be blunt, at the moment my opinion about shooting the summer has not changed. And what I think is if you like shooting in the midday, say from between nine and six o'clock at night, then really summer is definitely the worst season for landscape photography. The lights just, you just have to work so much harder, you know. I'm unfortunate today because I don't have enough clothes. I have taken a couple of shots I like, so it proves it can be done, you know, and I can't really take a snapshot of one day and sit here and tell you that summer's a write-off because it doesn't work like that. But generally, the other, the other seasons actually are better, you know, they're just, they're a little bit more interesting. But anyway, no shot in the bag. And now it's about half six, so, it is getting close to evening light. Uh, ironically, we've still got like three, three and a half hours until sunset, which is great. Theoretically, I could go and have a kip, get up, and walk to my next location. I'm not going to, but I could. Anyway, let's jump in the van, and let's go down to the final, final location, and let's keep our fingers crossed that we get some interesting light. fully aware that I've been a bit down on summer and that's really unfair because you know I love summer it's great that you can walk out you know it's nine o'clock at night and all I've got is like a hoodie on 
and I'm not particularly cold, you know. Really, summer's wonderful. And I think really the main takeaway from all of this is whatever the season, enjoy your photography. And don't think of it as a challenge as such. Just because it's summer, it doesn't mean you have to hibernate for three months. You know, just work a little bit different. Maybe take a break in the day, just get out early, stay out late, have a keep in the afternoon. You know, it's all good. I'm just waiting for the light, I'm at Walltown Crags. If it happens, fingers crossed, I will put the shot up at the end of the video. And if not, I will see you next time. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Um, I love summer. Summer's wonderful. Perhaps summer is the hardest season for photography, but it's definitely not the worst. Just like to discuss the camera that I'm using. Now I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but basically I'm trying out a new camera for video and for stills. So basically it's one camera body doing both. Now at the moment I'm not really sure if video is working. I've, I've got a feeling it could be a bit all over the place. Um, hopefully it's not too bad. But really the whole aim is to reduce the weight in my bag because my bag as proved in the last video was just too heavy. And you know every hundred grams I can save means I can walk further and that's the whole aim of this. So really I'm trying out this camera with a a nice pretty compact zoom 24 220 mil could be equivalent could be full frame I'll let you work it out and really I'm just giving it a try so I would love you if possible to leave your comments about the video footage you know it may frankly be awful if it's too bad you won't even see this video so fingers crossed it's okay and uh, you know hopefully be better in the next one but also feel free to have a guess on what the camera is I'm using you know the the actual stills may give it away a bit. I'm enjoying the camera, it's definitely small, my bag's lighter, and that's really what I'm looking for. But anyway, in the next video, I'm gonna tell you what it is and why I've made this switch, and I'm gonna tell you how my future is with Sony, really, because I'm not sure if I'm keeping Sony or not. A lot's gonna depend over the next couple of weeks. But anyway, onwards. <laughs>